Hello, my name is Philip Osterbrink. I'm head gardener at Warmer Castle in Kent. Um, autumn has started here and I'd love to show you some of my favourite autumn plants. Warmer Castle was built in 1539 when they built this defensive moat all around it as well. Um, and it wasn't until William Pitt became Lord Warden that it was planted up with trees and shrubs. And one of my favourite plants in here for autumn is the beautiful Virginia creeper, which turns a bright red in autumn. We're now in the kitchen garden, which is the oldest part of the garden and has been growing produce for the castle since the early 1700s. Nowadays, we still use the produce in our own tea rooms and in autumn, we grow a lot of pumpkins, for, for instance, our pumpkin soup. And here are some of the pumpkins that we use for that. This is one of the pumpkins that we would use in a pumpkin soup in the tea room. But another one on this display, which isn't edible, is this swan gourd with this beautiful neck. And I think that's the most stunning one here, really. We're now in the Broadwalk, which was originally designed in the 1860s, but changed into perennial borders in the 1920s by Old Beecham. And one of the favorite plants in here for me is this hardy sunflower. It's got these beautiful thready leaves, look really thin leaves all throughout the summer and then very, very late in autumn, a late September, it'll start producing all these lovely yellow flowers there. This is another one of my favorite plants in these borders. It's a dahlia and it's a dark leaf dahlia. So it comes up with almost black leaves and then it starts flowering sort of July time and until the first frost. So these flowers will last for quite a long time. And the contrast between the black leaves and the red flowers as well is just very stunning. We're now in the Queen Mother's Garden, which was originally designed by Penelope Hobhouse, and it was for the Queen Mother's, who was Lord Warden at Warmer Castle at the time, for her 95th birthday. We still have the original Penelope Hophouse designs, so one thing that we're doing is we are putting the original plants back into these borders. One of the plants that she put in here was this Salvia oliginosa, and it just has this beautiful bright blue flower, and it just shows that in autumn it doesn't just have to be oranges and reds and everything, but you can also have beautiful bright blues. We're now in the Glen, which was originally a chalk pit, uh, but it was turned into a garden by Lady Hester Stanhope as part of the pleasure grounds uh, around Warmer Castle, and that was in the early 1800s. And walking through the woodlands, you've got lots and lots of shrubs that have beautiful autumn colour as well. So we've got things like the amelanchia or the gelder rose um, or spindle trees that get these bright pink and red and yellow leaves all throughout autumn as well. I love the sounds and the smells that come with autumn and one of my favourite sounds is the crunching of the leaves under your feet as you walk through the woodland. Another autumn flowering plant is this pretty little cyclamen, cyclamen hedrifolium. It will start flowering in late summer and carries on probably until about November time. Thank you for joining me on our tour around Warmer Castle Gardens. I hope we can welcome you here at the castle soon. If you'd like more information, then please check out our website. Mm -hmm.